the other point, it's, it's so diff. It's it's easier for us to say that on the sideline when out in the field, there's so many Limerick players that are physically and athletically, obviously hurling wise too, but physically and athletically dominating these, you know, by comparison, fairly callow Cork players. They're not as big and strong. It was pretty obvious who was winning, winning the ruck ball and making the positive turnovers throughout the game. It was Limerick. So if the bo- and like. You know the way that Limerick were carrying the ball up the field. Now, this was me just watching in Parky Cueve and looking down. You've got that absolutely brilliant view from the, the top of the stand. And you're looking down and you're thinking, Limerick are working this ball through the lines. One strike and they've got a beautiful ball to the inside line. Now, not quite as devastatingly as it was in the All-Ireland final because, you know, Cork were just, the, the, t- the entire team threw their full back line to the Wolves that day. But you always had this sense that goals were needed by Cork, but they were more likely to come from Limerick because of how easily they moved it up the lines and then how dangerous Aaron Galan and Kyle Hayes looked inside. It wasn't really Graham Mulcahy's day. But then when Cork tried to move it the other way, they couldn't really get it beyond the 65 and beyond the front foot and look to arrow a ball into, you know, Patrick Horgan or, or Shane Kingston in space. Like, Kingston got a chance early on, scored a goal, but himself and Horgan were living off scraps for the, the rest of the game. And I think it's really tough for those Cork backs to try and be all things to all men, to sort of be up their man's backside and win a ball, but also cover back. Because I told, I'd told, i say they were told, look, lads, if there's a ball there or up there, get in and win it. But then, like, and we saw this in the league final a few weeks ago when Jack Prendergast blasted a chance over the bar. Sometimes the sweeper, etc., will jump in for that ruck ball or try and get involved. All of a sudden... The opposition who are better at winning rock ball win it pop it over your a player's head and they're in on goal so i think they're kind of just caught between two stools and no matter what cork do i just i know look I, i've been proven wrong i don't really see where cork could actually beat limerick 